I'm living the life that you wish you lived Get it kid, if you don't you never will I'm getting better still, smoking out of vacuum seal And this bitch she a monster, lean in a Fanta In the club looking for a sponsor, my niggas we on bado This shit smell good, this shit don't get me high though I keep the shit close for you fun boys Concealed from the gun boys, nigga fuck the boys East New York you better get a gun boy Yep, 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 yep. You know I'm back with another one. This one right here is something a little different. This was, uh, well, this is Yo Yo um 808. Um, she was down for anything. Um, animated tender story. I mean, let's go. She was down for anything, huh? That means she was down to get a car parked all in her garage. You heard? And look how she's sitting on that couch right there. You know what I mean? You know what's up? Look at the crib though. Before I press play. Down, bad, bad, bad. Uh, I'm just looking around and see what's going on here. We got shit hanging from the wall, dripping. You know what I mean? Oh, oh put that down a little bit. All right, what's on the floor over here? All right, all right. Oh, look what this shit say right here. You see it? <laughs> you know what's up? All right, okay, okay. Oh, uh, what's going on? Let's just press play. Let's see what's going on. Right now, right now, right now. All right, look at the couch. I like the, um, the drawing effects and all that, man. You can even see the shadow right here. You know what I mean? So you know they did the detail proper. All right, now to the video. Shut up. I had to say all that. Our location was definitely less than ideal, but her being the eager young woman that she is, she makes do with what she has. We start doing our thing. She's getting into it. She puts her hair up and goes for my pants zippers. And I'm adjusting my dual disc, preparing to get sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> So if you watch my She Fell For Me story, you'll know that a couple months ago I decided to uh, dabble, you know, dip my toes into the waters dip of Tinder. Waters that were once tranquil and clear but are now toxic, dangerous, and straight up tainted ah, by Hot Girl Summer. So this story starts off how every Tinder story starts. A wholesome longing for true love and affection? Um, yeah, yeah, of, of course. You got horny. I got horny. So way back yeah, when I first started my go. YouTube channel, I actually got kicked out of my mom's place and had to get a job and move in with a friend, his two siblings, and his mom. Oh, she kicked you out like, uh, um, like, uh, Uncle Phil did Jassy Jeff. Ah, oh, hold up. Just for that, hold up. I have a spaceball. You got horny. I got horny. So way back when I first started my YouTube ah. channel, I actually got kicked out of my mom's place and had to get a job and move in with a friend, his two siblings, and his mom. This apartment would be the place where I really focus, cut everyone from my previous life out, and get serious about my... Hold up, that's a YouTube plaque right here, but it's drawn. You know what I mean? See the YouTube play button. So I guess that's um 3,000 subscribers. He got the plaque. That must be a plaque. Cartoon animated. You know how that shit be going. You heard? Come on, let's go. Channel. So much so that it went from 3,000 subscribers to 150,000. This story. Oh, I was right. You know what I mean? Come on, I'm gifted. No present. Gotta go back just for that. This where I really focus, cut everyone from my previous life out, and get serious about my channel. So much so that it went from 3,000 subscribers to 150,000. This story took place when I started doing YouTube full time around the 100K mark. Right. Right before I moved out and got my own place. So I'm scrolling away on Tinder. I match with this one girl and off rip. She does not look like the type of girl that I'll usually go for. Because I like how you talk, homie. Off rip. She don't look like, you know what I mean? You know, you, 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 you know, you know, homeboy. Just for that, I gotta go back. Around the 100K mark. Right before I moved out and got my own place. So I'm scrolling away on Tinder. I match with this one girl and off rip. She does not look like the type of girl that I'll usually go for because... She looked like a freak, bro. Like, like I was going through some of the pictures, and she just looked like she could Freaky. send someone to the Shadow Realm without having to use Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Send someone to the motherfucking graveyard. Give you that Batman forever. You know what I mean? That Kawasaki. You know what I mean? That shit you don't wake up from. You understand what I'm saying? How I say it when I say it? That death. We don't want that. You know what I mean? But she looked like a look. You know what I mean? Come on. That ain't the type of girls you should go for. You heard? No pockets need that. We don't need no pockets that got that. You heard? Come on, let's go. Arrow, arrow, space bus. She looked like a freak, bro. Like, like I was she going through like some of the pictures, is. and she just looked like, like look. she could send someone to the shadow realm without having to use Yu-Gi-Oh cards, if you know what I'm saying. And honestly, I got that's you. not something that I'm really looking for. I'm more of a long-term dater, and she made it very clear 
that she wanted only one thing. And sure, I, I enjoy doing that one thing too, but I, I have to feel a connection. I can't just do it with anyone. I have to genuinely want to get to know you before I can become that level of intimate. So we plan to meet up that day at like 8 p.m. Yeah, that brother's starving. We're texting and she... <laughs> yeah, that brother's starving. You know what I mean? Come on. So we plan to meet up that day at like 8 p.m. Yeah, that brother's starving. We're texting and she's, for a lack of better words, not shy about her intentions. And I'm, for a lack of better words, not mentally pre prepared okay i'm not used to this okay i'm nervous i had just gone from a year of 100 percent grinding and zero social life to texting a girl about the gawk gawk 3000 double grip pepper grinder deluxe okay i wasn't ready so 7 p.m hits and i get a text from homegirl saying something happened at her crib and she wants to know if she can come over to my place instead this was a problem because i shared a room with two other guys that slept in the closet someone sleeps in the living room which is connected to the kitchen the crib nigga sleep in the closet <laughs> well, at least you got somewhere to sleep better than sleeping on the street even though that closet is a small little space but it's cool but it's too but it's crowded not. for us to even do anything and everyone was home at the time and also it's becoming more and more obvious that this girl is definitely not Free. gonna be wifey so there's honestly no way That's we could back in this house and even if i did it definitely would not be right for me So I cleaned up the garage, made it as presentable as possible, and told her that she could pull up to the crib in and out. Stop. She pulls up and we head to the garage. And she is looking fine, bro. Like, too fine. She she most definitely overdressed. We weren't planning to go anywhere. I was wearing a t-shirt and jogger. She really gave off Netflix and chill vibes and showed up like I was taking her to Nobu. Like, shorty. I can't even give you Netflix and chill. Like I couldn't fit a TV down here. Our location was definitely less than ideal, but her being the eager young woman that she is, she makes do with what she has. We start doing our thing. She's getting into it. She puts her hair up and goes for my pants zippers. And I'm slow now. Adjusting my dual disc, preparing to get sent to the shadow realm. She unzips my zipper and then lets out a scream. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Why, thank you. But she gets off me, stands at the table. <laughs> she, she pulled down a zipper and then lets down the screen. And I'm like, all right, thank you. Because it's too much for her to handle. She's like, oh my God. You know what I mean? I have a little space. She's preparing to get sent to the shadow realm. She unzips my zipper and then lets out a scream. And I'm thinking, <laughs> why, why, thank you. But she gets off me, stands at the table, and points at the fattest roach I have ever seen and it was right next to us I don't know how we didn't see it we were really getting it on with a roach right there we worried about the wrong cop but the situation was dire I gotta think fast I have to kill him before he hides somewhere or else she's gonna get pressed and I'm not gonna get anything tonight so I grab a pair of shoes throw one shoe at the roach to get it off the wall and he missed the it. other shoe to kill the roach i take the roach scrape it off the shoe and hand the girl her shoes back <laughs> after realizing the garage was not the move but still being in the mood we wander to try to find a place and in a moment of desperation i decide to go to my friend's mom's car god i hope she's not watching this she has two cars and one of the cars she never uses so i go to open the door but it's locked but i know that the trunk is open so i just need to open the trunk climb through the trunk and then open the front door doesn't get more down bad than this honestly so i open the trunk and her car alarm starts going off it's blaring and it's like 4 a.m and i'm i'm just done bro i'm visibly oh, wow. not feeling it anymore and she tells me that she should probably leave as she speed walks to her car i go upstairs to wake up my friend's mom because she's the only one with the key to turn off the car alarm but Boy, i'm definitely not telling her what just happened so i go up and tell her i think someone tried to break into her car and i run downstairs to look for the robber man i'm trying to sell it bro i'm like looking under the car walking down the street looking inside the car looking behind houses and she thanks me for being brave and after that, we just walk upstairs, she locks the car, I text the girl, and obviously did not get a response. Hey, my flow is sick, it put a nigga in the ICU, you want beef, my sickle chop you like some Chinese food. I hit my target, I don't miss serves, it's high key you, you get rocked like asteroids, I jack boys, where's Kylie's dude? I'm not the violent type, but you better not tell me, cause I can really cap a nigga like I press the shift key, you cannot see me. They said my-
was fire. I could really cap a nigga like I pressed the shift key. I was fire, sir. <laughs> Whoop, long distance catch in. I caught it. You know what I mean? We got to go back for that ball. That ball was hard, homie. I ain't even hold it. You, you get rocked like asteroids. I jack boys. Where's Kylie's dude? I'm not the violent type, but you better not tell me. Because I can really cap a nigga like I press the shift key. You cannot see me. They said my goals are too far. They wouldn't reach me. I got the green and jumped high like Luigi. Bitch, I'm... They said they couldn't see me. I got the green and jumped out like Louise. He said, my, my, hold up. My lips was too far. They couldn't reach me. Hold up, hold up. One more time. It serves. It's high key. You, you get rocked like asteroids. I jack boys. Where's Kylie's dude? I'm not the violent type, but you better not tell me. Because I can really cap a nigga like I press the shift key. You cannot see me. They said my goals are too far. They wouldn't reach me. I got the green and jumped high like Luigi. Bitch, I'm the best, though. I ain't my chopper at your noodle, nigga. Where's the pesto? I really run up on the back and I'm getting my money. Sit to it like Velcro. They said stop. I said hell no. No, I control my life. I pull the strings just like a cello. There is no stopping me, and I'm really just speaking honestly. Honestly, these niggas can't. And I speak to me economically hugging a tree protecting my green like I know ecology I'ma stop the flexing cause I don't need these niggas robbing me But no, if you do, I'm ready for war I'll let you click quick, but you know that I got more I'll step up on you like a bit bit and leave you on the floor Hey, yeah, I'll really leave you on the floor No cap, this song tested the hell out of my diaphragm I was running out of breath on these bars Alright, homie Alright, homeboy right, I'ma do a lot more of your shit, homie Oh. I'm going to do a lot more of your shit, man. Hopefully you don't mind. You heard? Shit, all love, big homie. You heard? Um, keep doing what you're doing. Don't mind that buffering shit in the background. You heard? All right, I mean, I'm off this, man. Y'all be safe out here in these YouTube streets. Thanks for tuning in. If you dislike, hit the dislike. All right? Four minus three, one, and I'm out of here. <laughs> yep. I'm going right now. Shut up. I'm going. Oh, pause that. I'm out of here. Oh, man. Thanks for watching. All talk long winded on my blue steel, it be extended. Stop playing, nigga, grow up. No old guns, nigga, they new shits. No vest, all my shots are butter naked, bitch. No sex or neck. She see me on the block looking like I bust a check. And then she broke a neck in the back of gift flex. You mad, nigga, but you ain't about that mess. I done seen niggas die for less. I got extra clips for the tech. I dare, nigga, to test.